Hi everyone, welcome to WeDraw Studio. Today, we are going to talk about cobalt. So now let's get straight to it. Cobalt is a hard, lustrous, silver-gray metal belonging to the transition metals group on the periodic table. With an atomic number of 27, a typical cobalt atom has 27 protons, 27 electrons, and 32 neutrons. Cobalt has been used for centuries to create blue pigments in glassware and ceramics. It has been found in ancient Roman and Persian artifacts, as well as in China's Ming Dynasty. Did you know that cobalt comes from the German word, cobalt, meaning goblin or evil spirit? Miners in the Middle Ages believed that goblins had cursed the ores, preventing them from yielding precious metals. They often mistook these ores for valuable metals like silver or copper, but upon smelting, the ores would yield no useful metal and instead release toxic arsenic vapors. In 1735, Swedish chemist George Brandt discovered cobalt as a distinct element and showed it was responsible for the blue color in glass and ceramics, debunking the belief that it came from bismuth instead. Cobalt is not found as a free metal in nature, but is commonly found in compound forms within various minerals. It primarily occurs as a byproduct in the mining of nickel and copper ores. The Democratic Republic of the Congo holds over 50% of global reserves and accounts for around 70% of cobalt production. Other producers include Indonesia, Russia, Australia, and Canada. Despite its strategic importance, cobalt is relatively rare in the Earth's crust, making up about 29 parts per million. Cobalt is more common in meteorites, suggesting that much of Earth's cobalt may concentrate in its core. Cobalt has a high melting point of 1,495 degrees Celsius and boiling point of 2,927 degrees Celsius. It is relatively dense at 8.86 grams per cubic centimeter. Just like iron and nickel, cobalt is ferromagnetic. It remains magnetic at temperatures up to 1,121 degrees Celsius, one of the highest Curie points among ferromagnetic metals. In the early 1970s, the first samarium cobalt rare earth magnets were developed. They are similar in strength to neodymium magnets but have higher temperature resistance and coercivity. Cobalt is moderately reactive. In its pure form, it does not react easily with water but can oxidize slowly in moist air. It forms a wide variety of blue compounds, commonly as pigments and dyes. Cobalt readily forms alloys with metals like iron, nickel, and chromium. These alloys are highly resistant to wear and corrosion, making them valuable in the aerospace and medical industries. One of the main uses of cobalt today is in rechargeable batteries, especially lithium-ion batteries, which are widely used in smartphones, laptops, electric vehicles, and renewable energy storage. Cobalt acts as a catalyst in several important industrial chemical reactions, such as the fischer tropsch process, which synthesizes liquid hydrocarbons from carbon monoxide and hydrogen. A famous cobalt blue pigment, made from cobalt, too, illuminate, has been used since the early 1800s in paint, glass, ceramics, and inks for its stable, long-lasting deep blue color. Did you know that cobalt is an essential trace element in humans, where it forms part of vitamin B12? This vitamin is crucial for the production of red blood cells and proper brain function. It is also used as a micronutrient to enhance the health of ruminant animals like cows and sheep, which rely on bacteria in their digestive systems to synthesize this essential nutrient. Well, that's all for today, and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.